WTFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, folks. This is Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Del Rey Beach, Florida. This is your 2 p.m. update, and we've got the complete opposite of the 1 p.m. update. We still have a mixed bag out here, but it's in the opposite direction. The mixed bag, the only instrument trading to the downside right now is the Russell 2000, so up three points. The Dow is up 89. The S&P is up 12. NASDAQ's up 61. Semis are up 76. Spot volatilics is below its 50-day expense moving average. It's printing at 22.50. Gold's up 7 bucks. Silver's up 33 cents. Lights recruit up two dollars and 37 cents natural gas up 60 cents it's a nice move out there looks like it wants to continue to move higher and the 30 year treasury is back basically one point trade out 140.03 let's go spend a little time with our cash indice charts out here see what kind of signal information they're providing us on the upper right hand chart you will see the dow jones industrial it has a td9 count bottom that took place four days ago and price right now is dealing with resistance that's that green oscillator and change line the price can close above it, it being 34,543. Then that would signal that we should see a further rally, maybe up to the 34,900 area. In the case of the S&P 500, it has tested so far and rejected its TD9 count threshold level, key level, 48,31. If price were to close below 48.31, that says that price should go target 42.51. The NQ, the NDX 100, I should say, the key level of support there is the low from Friday, a Thursday that is, and that low is 13.884.82. If price closes below that, it'll negate a TD9 count bottom and suggest to move to 13.475. The Russell 2000, not much there to report on, just kind of a sideways-ish type movement. It's been consolidating for a long period of time. The semis on Friday closed below their TD9 count breakout uh, or the key threshold level negated that pattern uh, but prices tested its road momentum indicator bottom and a swing point from back on March 14th uh, in order for the semis to get somewhat bullish they have to close above 3147 the transports not provide me with a ton of information but likely price wants to go target sauce litter and change line 15015 New York Stock Exchange its key level of support is 16419.08 and that is its TD9 count threshold area. If the New York Stock Exchange were to close below that, that would spell curtain for the general markets. The NASDAQ Composite, its key level to watch, this is the end of day stuff, is 13 through 17.74. That's what it would take to negate its signal, its TD9 count signal as well. Folks, stay tuned. Your favorite polar bear, David White's up next. Have a magnificent Monday. And I'll see you on Terrific Tuesday. Take care.